paleontologist. Hmm. I always wondered how they found out what I really looked like when I lived so many millions of years ago. Hey, look at that. There's one of my cousins, Pterodactyl. Yeah, that's what I looked like when I was flying through the sky, too. And who is that? Oh, that's a paleontologist finding a fossil bone. You mean they don't find us looking all like that? No, they look like they find you in pieces and in bones. That's what you look like when we find you in stone. And this is how you first came out of the earth, all covered in rock and dirt. And we had to clean and clean and clean to get you to look like something. Here's a paleontologist busy cleaning a huge, what do you think, a dinosaur leg maybe? Wow, he's studying it very carefully. Because, you know, millions of years ago, the dinosaurs, when they died, they'd fall on the ground. And then slowly they would get covered with layers of, well, it could be layers of lava or mud, and over the millions of years, more layers of mud and lava covered them, and they got deeper and deeper in the ground. But also during the years, there was rain and earthquakes, and pieces of the cliff fell away, and sometimes some of the skeleton would be sticking out. And that's what this lucky paleontologist found. And so now he's working to find the rest of it. Sometimes we find only a fossil stone. Maybe you can see the layers here where layer after layer after layer over millions of years was laid down. There's probably an interesting fossil in here if we take it back to the museum and open it up. This dinosaur fossil looks like it's part of a skull, maybe of a of a sea dinosaur. And I think we're about ready to take our bucket and go see what we can find. Because when you're out looking, it can be almost anywhere that you are lucky enough to see something that looks interesting to dig up. But first of all, we have to do the heavy work. We have to excavate. And to excavate, we need big shovels to dig the top layers of all those layers of mud and sand and gravel and lava away. Later, we might be able to use smaller shovels, even spoons, so that we don't break anything that we're digging. And then it's time to clean them up. And what do we clean them up with? Well, we might have to use a hammer and a chisel, and we have to put it into the dino fossil and then chip away all the dirt around the edges. And sometimes we have to chip it with bigger picks and brush off all the dirt. And sometimes we even use little tiny brushes to brush away all the dirt so we can see all the little pieces of the, of the skeleton or the leaf or the egg, whatever it is that we found. And then we don't want to lose it, so we put them in bags and we put a little label this one says T-Rex, so something must have been from Tyrannosaurus rex that went in that bag. And then off to the museum they'll go, so the paleontologists at the museum can figure out what to do. Well, how does that work when we take our shovels and our tools and we go, well, we go out hunting. And when we think we found a spot, this spot looks kind of interesting. It looks kind of like a dirty beach area. Sometimes we find things that are not fossils. That looks like a piece of paper. That's not a fossil. Oh, and look, someone dropped their straw instead of putting it in the garbage can. And sometimes the leaves, these look like fresh green leaves, so those aren't millions of years old, fell on top. And what else is up here? Oh, well, right on the top layer, we usually find things that have just washed up. You know, maybe shells and more shells. Huh, these are just shells, those these haven't turned to rock. I could probably bring my trusty hammer along and see if any of these sound like stone, but no, nope, they sound like they sound like they are now the shells. These are stones, but that just looks like a stone I might find on the beach. 
This has an interesting shape. Hmm, that almost looks like it could be, what do you think? Does that look like it could be maybe part of a tooth of a dinosaur? I'm going to put that in one of my bags and take that back to the museum so that I can remember that I think that is a dinosaur tooth. And then I'm going to dig around. I'm going to use my smaller shovel now. Ooh, ooh, that definitely is a stone or a rock. Fossils turn to rock, so I know that that could be one. Let's see. Ooh, this looks like a good one, too. Ooh, and that has an interesting shape. You know, you have to look for interesting shapes and things that might be something. And maybe I can't figure out what it is right now. Maybe you have an idea. But if I take it back to the museum, I can study it there. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, here's here's something. Ooh, this is fascinating. Oh, oh my goodness, it's got lots of different layers on it. Layers are good. It means it's very old and it was under the soil for millions of years. Maybe that's part of a dinosaur. I'm going to take that back to the museum too. And wow, this is, ooh, this is really big. See, sometimes you have to dig really deep uh, into the soil to get it all. Uh, let me see. Lift it up. Okay, and then I'm going to use a pick because I think maybe it's not going to get out very easily. Uh, 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 there, that's a little bit looser. Let me see if I can get my other tool to lift it out. All right, good. Okay. And, oh, oh my goodness, this is magnificent. And let me get my brush. Oh. <gasps> because you have to be really careful. I don't want to break anything on it. You have to be very gentle with the fossils, even though they're rock. They're millions of years old and they might, cr look at that. Do you see what I see? It looks like it has layers. Look at that, it looks like a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich of mud and lava that has turned to hard, stone over the millions of years ago. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take that back because maybe if we go to the museum, we can pound this and see what that layer is. It might be the print of a leaf in there because leaves were very thin and maybe the leaf got pressed in between the layers of lava and I bet it's inside there. We just have to use our special tools to open it up. Wow, that is a magnificent find. Well, let's see. Well, maybe that's all there is here. But, oh wait, when I'm looking down at the side, oh, it looks like things have been washed. Oh, doesn't that look, oh, it looks like more to be found down here. Let me get my other tools to see if I can get them out. Use that hammer. Oh, ah, that one's really stuck. Well, it has been there for millions of years, you know. Okay, let's see. Ah, there. Ah, good. Okay. And brush it off. Ooh, you can right away see that this was a lucky find. Look at that. Whoa, layers. There's a dark layer and a thicker light layer. Wow, this might, you know what? Look at that. This looks like a print of the skin of a dinosaur. Look at how bumpy it was. Oh, I think that's his skin. We found a piece of, who knows, maybe it was Ankylosaurus's skin or Brontosaurus's. I'll take it back to the museum so that the researchers can look in their books. They can look in videos. They can ask other scientists and paleontologists if they've ever seen anything like this. And maybe we'll find out which dinosaur it belonged to. Wow, look, look, we do. We have more. We have more. Ooh, this, oh, this one's really stuck. Uh, let me see if I can get my little shovel working here. Oh, oh, look at that. That one came up. I didn't even know I was looking for that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, another, another find. Wow, this is amazing. It's got three layers one two three and it's got layers all the way around up oh, I wonder what that could have been again 
we'll have to do some research and take it back. Maybe it was a baby dinosaur and it was his head. Doesn't that look like his nose and his eye over here? That might have come out of a little dinosaur egg because I did find the eggs too. Oh, this is such a wonderful place we have found. And look, there's many more. Oh my gosh, this one just came up too. I can't stop. I want to stop and take these to the museum, but I keep finding more. Look at that one. Whoa. Layers on layers of millions of years pressing down and turning these to stone. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go back to the museum and see what we can find in books and videos and by asking other people who know a lot about dinosaurs. Do you know a lot about dinosaurs? I bet you would have a lot of information too. All right, let's get together again and see what we can find.